Hi, Jim Jim. Welcome back. Thank you all for being here. Um, welcome to my new subs. Welcome to my old cities. I love you guys so much. Okay, so let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on here. Flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Happy birthday, Gemini, once again. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season. All right, please be aware of the scammers down below in the comment section. If the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me replying back to your comment. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms, it is also not me. My social media handles are going to be down below in the description box, okay? If you guys are interested in Twin Flame readings, if you're on the journey, you can um, subscribe, like, share, you know, comment on my second channel. My Twin Flame channel is going to be down below in the description box as well, okay? So, Jim Jim, so let's see what's going on with you all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back <clears throat> to the center. So, let's see. I don't normally give my introduction like that. One eleven on the clock. You guys could be seeing those numbers. I don't normally give my introduction like that. So something in your life could be changing. It's shifting. Okay, Gemini. Maybe for the better. I don't know. Let's see. You're doing something different or you're changing something up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We have bless up. Okay, appreciation and gratitude for blessings. Receiving blessings. That's nice. Detective, snooping, digging for dirt, accusations, <laughs> and mind games here. Manipulation, gaslighting, and scare tactics. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Virgo. I always get Virgo in your reading. Gem gems. We have squad, bottom of the deck. Close friends, birds of a feather flock together, and soul tribe. Hmm. So I feel like, Gemini, you're just over here minding your business, child. You got blessings coming in. People feel like, oh, what is she doing or he doing to get all of this, bitch? I'm just blessed. <laughs> that's just period so i feel like because of this people are trying to dig up dirt on you to make you seem like you're a fraud or something like that all right somebody here is trying to make you feel some kind of way with the mind games <laughs> it's because you're elevating past them you're elevating and they're stuck in the same bullshit ass shit that they've been in since 20 damn 10 <laughs> like since the year 2010, child, they still stuck doing the same bullshit or whatever. 2010, 20 damn, goddamn 15, 17, 18, child. But let's see. What's blessed up here with mind games and detective? Which way is this supposed to come out, Spirit? Seven of Swords. Okay, in reverse. So, Aquarius Moon here. Hmm. Somebody is like really two faced around you. Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, some shit is coming out here. <laughs> Something is coming out. Either they're going to have to come clean, or you're awakening to somebody's like behavior. This could be, too. Somebody here taking credit for something that you do, like your work here. What else? For some of you, there was some sort of, like, criminal activity that somebody was trying to, like, put you, like involve you in or something. Or they, they ass could be going to fucking jail with the judgment and the seven of swords in reverse. What else? Okay, the strength card. Yeah. I feel like um you could be dealing with a Leo here. Gemini, I always get Virgo, Gem Virgo and Leo. You could be dealing with somebody on the Leo Virgo cusp. But nonetheless, I feel like there's something that you're overcoming. There's some sort of challenge here that you've overcame or overcome. Okay, or you're overcoming currently, I meant. Something is being called out here. Some sort of karmic lesson that you're learning. Or there's something that you're saying out loud or you're putting out there. It's exposing somebody. <laughs> Okay, and they're trying to escape something. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is is trying to escape something that they did. And they can't. They're trying to like run away from it. Put the seven of swords in reverse. Some sort of plan has been exposed. A strategy, it didn't fucking work. Okay, it did not work here. I don't know who the hell this is. Only you know. Or some of y'all probably don't even know these people. They just doing shit behind the scenes here. 
like they always do a bunch of fucking punk ass pussy ass cowards but yeah something is coming out here about someone or is being called out okay or this could be you like i said trying to turn over a new leaf with the seven of swords and reversing the judgment it's like you're awakening hmm Somebody here was, has, is being outsmarted here. This could be some sort of slander, too. Let's see. What else? That's a lot I'm getting with that. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody here, you could be becoming single because they're a serial cheater. Whoever this is with the Seven of Swords in reverse, that could definitely mean somebody's a serial cheater. Or some sort of, like, blackmail. Could be, it could be a lot here. Let's see. Someone could have a Virgo Venus placement. What else? Oh, there's some sort of slander about you. Because the Nine of Pentacles could be somebody that has some sort of fame attached to them. They could be a celebrity even. Or um, or this is you, of uh, Gemini. You have some sort of status here. I feel like you're very independent, self-reliant, self-sufficient. Like I said, you're just blessed here. You're in this Nine of Pentacles enjoying the fruits of your labor. And it's because of your hard work. I feel like you have a successful business. All right. Yeah, the Seven of Cups under the judgments. What else? Somebody, it's like your consciousness is kicking in too, or this is somebody else's awareness about you is kicking in. Damn. The Ace of Cups. And the King of Wands. Who had that right there? Bottom of the deck is the Empress. I think, yeah, Virgo. Virgo had that right there. So, there's a lot of confusion surrounding a situation here. Seven of Cups talks about an illusion. Okay. Some sort of illusion is clearing up. Or somebody's waking up from an illusion. Their their um, <clears throat> psyche is strengthening with the shrimp card. With the Ace of Cups too, and the King of Wands. There could be new love coming in. Okay, for some of you, or like I said, for others of you, this has a lot to do with your psyche. Okay, or your persons. But this could be a new romantic like. Uh, a new romance starting. So let's see. Let's see what this is, child. What's this Seven of Swords in reverse? What's Seven of Swords in reverse, spirit? Because there's a lot going on here. The judgment coming out a lot for these readings. What's the Seven of Swords in reverse? Wow, the Two of Cups. That's the Seven of Swords in reverse with the Two of Cups. And the Justice. Libra Energy. And then we have the Empress. So, um... Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. So, you could be dealing with a Libra. Someone could have a Cancer Venus. So... Um, there's a connection that's coming in here. There's love between you and somebody. Okay, there's a mutual love between you and someone here. And this, uh-uh, come on. Get off this. Get off that. Nah, -uh, no. Move your legs from out there. There's a mutual love here between you and someone. And this is your justice. This relationship that's coming in is your justice. Something is being revealed about this. All right, it's coming out. Somebody's getting ready to confess their love for you. With the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups and the Justice here. Whatever this is, something is working in your favor here, Gemini. Okay, yeah. There's something that's getting ready to be balanced between you and somebody or whatever the fuck this is. Someone is getting ready to confess something. What's the Justice here and take accountability for something? What's the justice?
the strength coming out again. Strong Leo. So, yeah, there was some challenges or something karmic that someone had to overcome or deal with. Okay, um, this could talk about somebody needing that inner strength to do something, too. I feel like this is what is happening. Somebody's going to have the inner strength to come towards you to confess something. Maybe that they, they did lie about it. It could just be their feelings that they lied about, but it could be something else, all right, that they didn't, are not telling you the whole truth about. Obviously, we're going to see. You overcame, you and this person have overcame some sort of challenges here to, to be in this connection, like at peace in the connection. You could, I'm getting like somebody being separated from someone for a while. What's the two of cups? Some sort of lessons have to be learned. Okay, yes, child, the Hierophant, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be on the Taurus cusp. I mean, the Taurus Gemini cusp, uh, Gem Gems. Oh, there, there's a connection coming in here. <laughs> you don't even see it with the two of swords. You don't even see it coming. But there's a connection that's going to lead into marriage. I feel like this is going to be a very beautiful connection. I feel like you handle whatever this situation is or whatever y'all been through, you handled it with grace here. So there's a sacred contract, a sacred union that's going to lead into a very nice... Um, Where is the charger? Because we're both so deep with sex. It's on the computer over there. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was some some sort of like lessons here that had to be learned with the Hierophant, the Judgment here, the Strength card twice, the Justice. Can't forget about that. So yeah, there's Karmic Justice here. And it's, it's this relationship. This is going to be really nice. This is something that God wants to bring together here god wants this connection to be like this okay it's meant to be i feel like so just keep your faith strong. i feel like you kept faith you kept fighting for something or this is your person somebody's waking up from some sort of illusion or they are awakened already like fully or something what's the judgment the seven of swords in reverse this is giving turning over like a new leaf here somebody has changed or yeah, the Ace of Cups again. Ooh, the Three of Wands. Something nice is coming in, Gemini. This is like your ship's coming in here. You could be dealing with an Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or that could be in your chart, child. But the Judgment, yeah. This could be some, for some of you, somebody from your past is coming back. You could be confused about what's going on here. With the Seven of Cups, it's like you're, you're going through an awakening and things just seem... It's like you're floating or something. Things something is changing in the atmosphere okay you could feel the energy changing and it that's because it is yeah there's a big victory coming in for you with the six of wands yes child yeah so you're you could be feeling anxiety yeah there it is the six of wands the nine of swords and the goddamn seven of cups it's like you you're feeling this um change if you're a twin, I feel like you know what I mean, <laughs> okay? For some of you, this could be a strong twin flame connection, but for others of you, this could just be you. Also, like, you know, if you don't have a twin, it could still be the same way, right? But the three of wands, this could be somebody that lives at a distance from you. There's definitely new love coming in for a lot of you, okay? And if you know, if you are already in love with somebody and the connection has been rocky or something, or y'all been at a distance with the three of wands i feel like somebody is coming to see you or be with you the three of wands talks about growth expansion okay i just heard something about prosperity so something is prosperous here it's going to keep growing okay i'm getting um this is you being happy about your decision confident in your decisions feeling self-assured yeah it's it's something nice coming in child Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you could have, for some of you, you do have a lot of options coming in. And that's, you know what I'm saying. What's the strength card right here, Spirit? There's a celebration or something that, that's, that's to be celebrated here. Okay. Will of Fortune in reverse. Yeah. What's the, what's the strength card with the Will of Fortune in reverse? And the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, there was something that was challenging here. It's a lot about, it has a lot to do with your confidence, maybe standing up for yourself. Um, a lot of solar plexus and maybe sacral chakra activations that needed to happen here because those could have been the chakras that were most affected. 
or bruised, okay, or something like that. But the Wheel of Fortune, yes, yeah, something has been delayed for, for sure. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, a lot of setbacks, a lot of delays, a lot of letdowns too. Things not really working in your favor. A lot of things have to be cleared here. And it took a lot of strength or it's taken a lot of strength. There's a new beginning <laughs> with the Ace of Wands here, the Ace of Cups. Mm. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? This could be a new creative endeavor starting, a new creative project, or some of y'all have really been lacking passion and like great sex and just that chemistry, that vibe, that good energy, you know, within a relationship. You really ain't been having that. Your love life or your sex life has been really just fucked up here. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? I feel like whatever this new beginning is, you're going to feel very strong chemistry. Yeah, sex again, the Knight of Wands. Um... Could be a Sagittarius. So the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, this is a lot of things. Somebody has been in and out of your life for a while, possibly. All right. You've been waiting for something here. It's just been a lot of delays. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of bad karma attached to something or someone or you. Like, you had to change a lot. All right. And it took a lot of confidence or it's taken a lot of confidence here. Okay, but the Knight of Wands talks about, oh, excuse me, being swept off your feet. This is somebody that's very sexy. They're warm-hearted. Okay, very passionate. Um, this, the Knight of Wands, to me, is finding your purpose. When it's in reverse, this is somebody that can't find their purpose. They don't have a sense of direction here with the upright. Their, your purpose has been delayed. If this relationship is a part of your purpose, it's been really, really delayed. A lot of challenges to overcome or it could still be some right here but with this in your reading it's showing up like fast whatever this is for it to be so vivid in your reading like that this is all about your confidence to your self-esteem you pushing forward here through anything that's coming your way or that has came your way yeah the, the fool what's the uh ace of wands Something about your confidence, too, is really, really strong right now. What's the Ace of Wands? It's like you feel energized or... Yes, child. We got Ace of Wands here, Ace of Cups twice, and the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> yes, the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, in the Nine of Cups, there's a wish coming in here. The Empress is on the bottom of the deck. So you, child, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's giving twins. Okay, I ain't even gonna lie. It's definitely giving twin flames, reuniting, child. Yeah, that's the vibes. That's the vibes. Yeah. So this could be too. You could have been experiencing a lot of setbacks and delays with your um money. Okay, somebody here needed to find their passion, their purpose with what they wanted to do to make money or something like that. Because, I mean, I don't feel like Spirit is going to let you get back with this person until you can kind of like put your finger on what you are meant to do financially wise okay it's, it's something that somebody needed to see first they were on the wrong track or this is you somebody has overcame something <laughs> your person or this, both of y'all both of y'all have have to overcome something in order to come into union what's the nine of pentacles right here this is, could be a new car a new home a new way to make money with the ace of wands ace of pentacles Whatever this newness here is going to create a lot of abundance. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Pentacles spirit? The Five of Wands. What's the Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Wands? The Eight of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo here. I always get Virgo a lot in the Ten of Swords or another Gemini. Yeah, so I feel like what this person could be coming clean about, too, is the fact that there's, like, competition. There's people fighting, arguing, bickering, or they got this pent-up anger towards you, or whatever the fuck this stupid shit is. Some illusion is clearing, too, where there, for some of you, Gemini, I keep getting this for y'all, too, where there could have been a lot of confusion spells going on, like hexes and curses, or this is something generational between you and your person. It had to be cleared out in order for y'all to come into union. 
All right. So, yeah. Someone could have a Leo Saturn. So the, the Eight of Pentacles talks about self-mastery. Yep. Self-mastery. There's something abruptly that has ended or a lot of betrayals. Just a, overcoming a lot of bitch assness. Just period. And people wanting to fight, argue, bicker. I feel like you've handled all of these situations here gracefully. The Nine of Pentacles is a graceful, elegant person. Whether it's a man or woman, whatever. I feel like you just took the high road every time. Yeah. This could be you. I feel like through all of this shit here, you've been focused on your, your work here, your healing, and just like your actual work in the 3D. You've been ac accumulating wealth. There could be a people in competition with you about what you do for work or they... It's just a lot of distractions here. Okay. Yeah. Five of Swords. What's the Five of Wands about? What's the Five of Wands about? Yeah, this Ten of Pentacles. People know that this Ten of Pentacles is coming. It's being built. Just period. Yeah, they get the Nine of Pentacles here. This last Pentacle is yours. It's coming in. And I feel like this last Pentacle, because you already got wealth. You've already accumul accumulated a lot. A lot of you guys are going to get ready to retire early, just period, because of what you got going on here. Your business is successful, whatever the fuck. But this Ten of Pentacles is this higher for in the Two of Cups. That's the last thing you need, child, in order to live, like, in order to be truly, truly in your divine calling. It's this relationship. It's this connection that the, that last pentacle is what you need here. We went from the eight to the nine to the ten. And there's people trying to fight to stop it from happening. So that there's been betrayals here. Somebody been trying to like stop it from happening. What's the ten of swords? You guys could be saying ten, ten. Yeah, that shit is over. What's the ten of swords? The lovers, yeah, another lover. Either your lover, their lover, maybe both of y'all. People from your past, past influences with the Six of Swords. I mean, Six of Cups. Yeah. There's been a lot of, like, I feel like, honestly, there's been a lot of manipulation, gaslighting, and scare tactics has a, has a spiritual element to it. Okay, so either there was, like, real spell work going on. I mean, it really don't take much to do a spell, to be honest. Like, people do it every day when they say hateful shit out of their fucking mouths to, towards other people, to hurt others, or whatever the fuck. But this could be some ritualistic shit going on where people did this shit every day to get in the way of this union, black magic, whatever. But I definitely feel like there was a curse or a hex over whatever this is. It's too deep. And people know that. That's why they kept trying to break y'all two apart. They knew this before you even knew about it. Yeah, the judgment. Now somebody's awakening. The page of swords. The king of swords. Could be dealing with the Aquarius. Scorpio. Or it could be, like I said, another Gemini. But there's an awakening that's happening here for sure. There's, this is spiritual court. King of Swords with the judgment. Or this could be your masculine here. Awakening. Whatever it is. There, there's definitely a choice between two. And I feel like there was a hex being put on somebody to cause confusion. Illusions. So this is balance. The lovers talks about balance, duality, uh, definitely kindred spirits, soulmates, divine connections, divine counterparts. But there was another lover here. Maybe both of y'all asses had karmics, obviously, that could have fucked this connection up and got in the way. Oh, this is what people are trying to do. Yeah, the magician, bottom of the deck. <laughs> the sun, the, the star. Something is manifesting here. It just is. What's the seven of cups, spirit? What's the seven of cups? The death card. Yeah, there's a transformation happening. A major one. That's why things feel... Yeah, the tower in reverse. Could be dealing with the Aries. King of Wands, bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> so the tower talks about I feel like this tower in reverse talks about something being averted like avoided it's like somebody is doing something in the nick of time to avoid a tower from happening the tower in reverse too is something that's inevitable it's inevitable it's just going to happen anyway so let's see 
something is ending anyways something is coming out anyways it's just or in this relationship is happening any damn ways yeah the six of cups with the judgment yeah what's the tower and rebirth spirit the sun and the magician i told you something major is happening here something big is going on yeah, the sun, whatever this is, child, it's being manifested. I'm getting like chills. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, yeah. Wow, something. There's a manifestation coming in. So if you feel, I feel like you just need to get rest, do some meditation. Yeah, Seven of Cups, meditate, or I don't know. I just feel like that's energy because that, that Seven of Cups is there because it's a dream. Yeah, it's like a dream or something you're wishing for, dreaming about. It's for sure coming. It's manifesting. The sun is like happiness, victory, success, vitality. Okay, whatever this is, is showing up in the damn physical child. Somebody, too, is gaining their power back. It's like they're so powerful or somebody has just powered up, like, a lot. Okay, like, I, I don't know. But it's, it's for sure coming. What's the death? There's a dream or a wish or something you're working hard for. Because the magician is here. That's manifesting. In order to manifest something, you got to work for it. You got to do 3D physical like work. So somebody is doing it. What's the death card? And the queen of swords. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're ending something with the queen of swords. It could be a Libra. Maybe go watch Libra's reading. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Swords could be a, a divorcee or something like that. What's the what's the death card with the Queen of Swords spirit? Okay, yeah, the Chariot in Reverse, child. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, what's the blockage with the Chariot in Reverse? This is this person that's probably confused. They have no sense of direction. They're blocked. <laughs> Something is ending with them, you know. It's just over. Whoever this air sign woman is or whatever the fuck, it's over. This is like hate triumphing over love here. They lost. They did not get a victory in whatever this is. Somebody here hated you or your person so bad. They were speaking death on something. They were speaking, I don't know, death. It could be death over you or somebody really tried it here. <laughs> like they really tried it. And now they're blocked. They're blocked. They don't even know what's, what's going on, really. With the chariot in reverse. They could feel it, possibly, with the queen of swords. Because that is somebody that's very discerning. But they've been outsmarted. With the seven of swords in reverse, they, they could be smart. But they are stupid, though. They're so smart that they're dumb, is what I'm getting. <laughs> with them. Somebody is losing. They're out of control here. The chariot. Something has gotten out of control. And it's ending. They've lost control over whatever they were trying to control or whoever they were trying to control. Mm. So a tower has been averted. Something has been like it's detouring here. Something has been rerouting, detouring, like something like that, you know. Or they've been trying to avoid this loss here. What could be exposed is the fact that they've been using magic, spell work, shit like that. But what's the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands? Ace of Cups, King of Wands. Three of Swords. Yeah, what's the Ace of Cups, Three of Wands? I mean, Ace of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Swords. And the Hangman. Yeah. So, yeah, this person, for some of you, somebody has broken up with a third party energy. I feel like what the hold up was was someone's heartbroken, uh, someone being heartbroken too. Like someone had to heal a lot of like pain or grieve, whatever this shit is right here. Could be dealing with that. Like I said, yeah, a Libra or a Pisces. Somebody got Libra, a Libra Saturn possibly. But yeah, there's been a breakup. And I feel like it's this King of Wands. They're taking action to break up with somebody, to get rid of them completely, whether they're broken up with them or not. It's been a lot of fuck shit going on here. A lot of manipulation. A lot. And somebody is releasing with the hangman, releasing heartbreak, pain, releasing this third party. Whatever is getting in the way of this beautiful connection is being released. It's being released here. Wow. Yep. Wow, Gemini. Something big is taking place. This is 
this person. They they really try to put it into whatever this is, child. But because someone now is awakening with the judgment, they're moving forward. say that fuego chemistry intense passion things are heating up it show sure is <laughs> it show sure is child you and this person are, are definitely twins i feel and if you're not child it's gonna feel like a damn twin flame connection <laughs> okay yeah and we have splitsville separation breaking up leaving it behind black sheep rebelling going against expectations defying norms and then we have power couple yeah in reverse ambitious partnership making boss moves building up relationship yeah somebody is really out there not with the right person <laughs> yeah they're with a goddamn say frenemy fake friends two-faced hidden intentions that's what came out here with the seven of swords in reverse they have people working against them or trying to hook them up with this damn karmic that they leaving now or whatever i don't know but they friends wanted them to go in the wrong direction maybe by trying to dig up dirt on someone <laughs> Bitch, nice try. What else? So this fake-ass couple, this fake-ass relationship, bitch, is over. What else? <clears throat> we have tiptoeing, acting shady, sneaking around, avoiding getting caught. Okay, I keep getting that in a collective where um people are coming together and they're keeping things private, which is nothing wrong with it. Then we have back burner, seeing potential, unsure of desires, saving for later. <laughs> Roller coaster in reverse, full of highs and lows, off and on again, hot and cold. Yeah, that's not that's not happening no more. I feel like that's not happening with you and your connection that's coming in. Also, where they was up and down, in and out with this damn karmic, that's not happening anymore either. Now they getting ready to be put on a back burner or just not being dealt with at all. Period. What's what's tiptoeing here? What's tiptoeing? brick wall yeah guarded hard to reach defense mechanism <laughs> so someone here is moving silently and it, them moving silently or they could have actually moved with the three of wands is blocking this person out from saying anything especially if they're trying to spy using magic mirror magic or whatever the fuck that is you do when you're trying to spy on somebody spiritually what's tiptoeing with brick wall new boo okay yeah new love learning learning each other and flirtations so I feel like what tiptoeing is with brick wall, it's like they're opening up slowly. They're going to open up slowly. So just take your time. And really, it's, it's no need to rush because if this person is your person, then they're not going anywhere. <laughs> like they're going to like, you know, I feel like, too, this is them coming towards you quietly. It's like I said, they're just they just want to keep it quiet. And I feel like that's rightfully so. If you guys have been through all this damn spiritual warfare and 3D bullshit, then I suggest, that would be my suggestion, is, is to keep it quiet. Yeah, what's back burner? Okay, high vibing. Yeah, good vibes, living to the fullest, enjoying the present. Yeah, somebody is leaving that bullshit ass, low vibing shit behind. They putting it on the back burner or it's like, I'll deal with it when I deal with it. I'll deal with you when I deal with you kind of like thing you know or i'll get to you when i can type shit like you're you don't run shit no more bitch especially if this is somebody's child's mother child's father ex-fiance whatever it's like they're being put on the back burner basically being left the fuck behind so let's see what else in order to keep something like stable with you with roller coaster in reverse yep so we have keeping tabs creeping on the low observing closely staying connected <laughs> glow up major transformation drastic changes self-improvement and then we have thirsty seeking attention needing validation desperate and pushy yeah so i feel like somebody's trying to change up their looks to keep someone around to stay connected they think that their looks are going to keep you connected for some of you and that's not true i'm also getting obviously there's a glow up here happening between you and your person and i feel like this is somebody here with this thirsty card they just want attention 
they need attention they want attention and i feel like it's no more of that shit <laughs> just period somebody they're done dealing with this hoe whoever been getting in the way it's over for you bitches i wish y'all go away you can go away now because you're not going to get the same treatment that you was before you're not if anything at all what else so it says not today left on red not in the mood and avoidance yeah somebody is leaving someone here splitsville this is like somebody in the airport it looked like it somebody has moved they've left <laughs> okay period They've left. It says open book, no shame, showing vulnerability, putting it out there. Yeah. And then we have sliding through. I'm telling you, phone call, text messages, emails, DMs. Yeah, somebody's going to confess their feelings for you here. Now that they didn't cut this person off or got them out of their life in whatever way they did, it's framed them enough. They make made a major ch change. Just period. What else? Divine Feminine, this karmic is stalking you really bad. Yeah, <laughs> siren call, sexual tactics, gaining attention, lured by temptation. It's something that this person did that was like involving witchcraft. I know for sure it's been coming up in your readings forever. Shattered and reverse, broken, destruction, beyond repair. Yeah, they're trying to hold on to something. That's what that tower is in reverse. They're trying to hold on to whatever this is by using sex or some sort of, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, then, yeah, then we have trashed in reverse, rejection, taking out the trash kicking to the curb here yeah they, they don't want this to happen or they don't want they, they want this to happen with you and obviously not to them <laughs> what is what is uh bitches are embarrassing bitch y'all need to fucking get it together and stop chasing uh people that don't want your stupid ass yeah dirty money and down the fuck <laughs> this person they really don't want to be rejected. What else? Supersize me. Doing too much, excessive overindulgence. Flaking out, deserted, abandonment, unreliable, and sipping tea. Listening to gossip, feeding into rumors, being influenced. Yeah, somebody, your masculine was probably dealing with the shit with this person when they were talking shit about you or whatever. Or they're being talked about right now. What supersize me? Doing too much. It's just... Yeah, on pause, delays, hesitation, losing momentum. What supersize me with on pause? So I feel like what's going on here, <clears throat> last draw in reverse, yeah. Then we have, it says limitations, breaking point, overwhelm. So I feel like somebody had lessons to learn here. This person was not, um, I want people to stop fucking calling me today. I don't ever get this, like, leave me alone. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. There is nothing to talk about. Leave a message, bitch. If it's really that important. <laughs> like, I, I'm about to put my phone on do not disturb because I don't even I don't even take calls. Okay. So yeah. Somebody here had to learn a lesson about um having their cake and eat it too. Okay. I you know, I feel like this is this this damn loser that's trying to get your person back sexually or use sex to do so they're trying to um get this person back but there there's like something is on pause it's not it's not ever coming back again something is halted stopped like it's just not happening but what was delaying y'all to is the fact that this person this person was being lured in by sex by some with someone now i ain't gonna say i mean i feel like all men go through that stage though where they like they don't know how to control themselves a little bit okay like i feel like everybody all men go through that okay for whatever reason child but yeah cuffing season single and ready to mingle ready for a relationship on the hunt and then it says my boo period some of y'all already know this person but yeah i feel like this person is opening up too with the ace of cups they're, they're getting ready to open up with sipping tea sleeping princess yeah, unmotivated, procrastinating, putting things off. Then we have chained. Codependency, unhealthy attachment, weighing way down. Yeah, it's this damn person that's gossiping, talking shit or whatever. And they ain't got no fucking job. They're a sleeping princess. It's like, bitch, you don't have nothing else to do with your raggedy ass time, your life. 
if you're in everybody else's way, you're in everybody else's way when you need to be fucking getting your shit together and stop relying on magic and a dick and a man to fucking keep you elevated or keep you going every day. Like, that's what you bitches, y'all need to focus on that. Like, and I, I'm saying that with all the shade. Like, I am throwing shade because <laughs> it's embarrassing. So, anywho, Gemini, this is like a nice reading. 11.55 on the timer. You guys could be seeing those synchronicities. So, yeah, congrats in advance, okay? have You're going to have a very beautiful relationship. You guys keep things on the low, okay? Enjoy your fucking relationship. There's no need for y'all to be seen nowhere. Like, if people see you, whatever. But if they don't, good. It's even better, right? It's like, who cares? People need to mind their fucking business. And I feel like even if they do see you, that's still not going to break y'all two up because you've learned the lessons to stay together. There's no more separation phases here. So, congrats. Love you all. I'll talk to you all later. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.